Well, from the history of Cambridge County, well. and also from the Daughters High School, a letter from their student government to Mrs. Raven, committing her on the work she's done with the children and forming her work. Very much involved in her work. She has worked for more than five years. She's inspiring all the schools to get involved. This is what the letter's about. Well, you know, this is the wonderful thing. I, I understand it is beginning to spread. Mm -hmm. She was at Northern California and mm -hmm. And they asked, well, what can we do when people, you know, offer them drugs? And she said, just say no. Today, there are over 10 times you just say no drugs. Right in the United States. It works That's for a lot of things. <laughs> well, listen, this is a very busy, exciting year for you. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Sure is. I'm enjoying it. This has been the highlight. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. We'll let you get back to work. Thank you for this. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. We once had a vacation and Boca Raton. Well, we're about 30 miles from the beautiful area. Nice meeting you again. Nice to meet you. Bye Okay, now we'll jump to uh, Eldon Rudd, Congressman. Congressman Eldon Rudd, Mr. President. What a pleasure to see you. Good to see you. You're, you're very kind to honor me with uh, with us with, with your signature on this. Well, and I understand. Beautiful paintings. I've read what you're going to do with it. I'll be very proud of it. It hangs between two Spanish stirrups. On, on a wall at the present. Well, I never knew you had anything like that. <clears throat> president, you have been the greatest president. And oh, thank uh, you. let me tell you something. You, 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 you changed the course of my life. You won't remember this. But I got out of the Marine Corps. I was carrying a base fighter pilot. Didn't know much about communism. Here's a plan that will work. And if we can do it right here, maybe like that. Right. <clears throat> I was a Blue Key delegate to the National Blue Key Honor Society on the campus of SC in 1947, the spring. You were the keynote speaker at that convention. Now, where was it? What? On the campus of the University of Southern California. Oh. Spring of 47. And you were the keynote speaker. And you spoke about communism. And you talked about the come early and vote late tactics of the Communist Party, and you should have known because you were president of the Screen Actors Guild. And we'd just been fighting. And, uh, and you, uh, you tickled my fancy very much. I talked to you afterwards. And uh, so subsequently, I went into the FBI and spent a career, most of it, in Latin America. And most of the time, I was working on MGB agents in those days. Now they call them KGB agents and communism. And I've just written a, a monologue and a book on this, not too strident. Uh, <clears throat> and it's very short, about 90 pages. I'm having it edited. And I'd be very pleased if you'd read it, because you are directly responsible for that and for changing my life into a, uh, an aware person on communism, maybe a communist fighter. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you, that whole episode at that time was my awakening. I was a quite liberal, democratic uh, young man who came out of the war and this whole communist thing in the picture business. I wasn't prepared to, to believe it. I had been so much red baiting and everything, you know. And then found myself in that guild position when they used that device of a jurisdictional strike, a cluster of unions that during the war they had infiltrated and taken over. And my awakening was was pretty rude as it went along. I was uh, like so many others. You know how they had, they had those communist front organizations. Well, the veterans organization that I joined uh, after World War II, the uh, American Veterans Committee, that was one they picked to take over. And they started in California. Well, I was on the board of this thing. And one night after one of our meetings, when I had begun to, well, I knew that by that time the, who I was fighting, and I left the guild meeting to go over to the board meeting of this guild. And I went in, I went down the center aisle, and the board all gathered there, and, and I slipped into a chair on this side, and without a cue or word, 
Every board member on this side of the room got up and crossed the aisle and sat on the other side and left me sitting there alone. And then I realized uh, here was another one. That well, your speeches are always inspiring. It was especially inspiring that night, and I dedicated myself to finding out what it was all about. I hope this little book I put will, will find its way into, into the youth of America, because they should know. And a lot of my friends don't realize the difference between Marxism and communism, as a matter of fact. But you've done a wonderful job of changing the course of the nation. The greatest ever. I'm very thankful for it. I've been a long-time supporter, and I'm grateful for this. By the way, I want to thank you for the nice letter. Uh, the Arizona Society the other night gave me a, a retirement party on leaving Congress, and uh, your letter was very nice. Well, I thank you for everything that you do, my, my well, friend. Well, thank you. And uh, I thank you for what you're going to do with this. Oh, I will. And this will make a lot of people happy. And it'll be a credit to you. And thank of course you. to me, too. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. She just pulled up, so why don't we do the, the bill sign? Pete. Oh, dear. Hi, Pete. How are you? I come bearing gifts, but being most appreciative that you're going to sign my bill. Oh, but mostly congratulations on the meeting that you're going to have. Where's the check? Oh, well, thank you. I'm looking forward to that. Hope it, hope it works. Could never have happened if I had to just like that fellow. Would you try another one here without that for me? <laughs> well, I didn't mean to have that there. Thank right. you very much. We're going to do our little bill? Yep. All right. I brought you another beautiful cowboy painting, and you just look at it at your leisure. It's an original from one of our great ones. Hey. And you'll love it. But I will burden you now. Well, this is 1963. That's the number yes. of the bill. <laughs> and uh, conveying that land to the New Mexico. Actually, this is very exciting. This little school is a high highly specialized science and tech school, and that this land is going to be used to, to make it, to continue with as the premier munitions research center of the world. Hmm. They do all of the uh, ballistic testing for the defense, and they're bringing in uh, companies from all over the United States to participate now, so it is really worthwhile. It's sealed, it's signed. Thank you. Yeah, well, appreciate it. Well, I'm sorry I'm late here. Oh. Just voted the drug bill in in the Senate. Oh. We've got a lot of problems on paying for it. But you know, and you'll get that later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, you can get this out of the way, of course. Oh, yeah, I'll take problem. care of that, Senator. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you for the, for the gifts here. Thank you. All right. This gentleman, is uh, his nickname is Big Mac, and he prints old things. And the Indians just love him, like the Navajos have uh, heralded him, and they don't even know him, but it's just because he does such a job of capturing the, the past. Goodbye. Okay, now, we've got one more. We're going to have to, this one's going to take a little bit of time. This is Congressman Whitehurst, who is retiring. Yeah. And he's bringing the...
one person to interrupt you for a second. We're going to have you stand up and have some pictures alone. I think that's a super idea since I'm not one of you. Okay. We're working hard and eating some chicken. Looks real good. Thanks, Tarn. It's a good bolster. And that looks real good. It's kind of scary, but I'm just worried about him. Who's going to vote?